I received my BCBs. I received 100 of them. 50 have been put straight into the nukes. The other 50 remain in my battery box. Here, I better do this outside. Can you take that lid off, Carrie? This lid? Yeah. I just want to show the inoculation. Oh, that's oh. why. It's an elastic band. The last 50 or so are being inoculated with the American Fellow Brood vaccine. So I made up a fondant. Looks like it's a little bit soft because it's gone runny. But the bees are consuming the fondant that has been inoculated with the American Fellow Brood vaccine. And they will be feeding it to the queens to inoculate the queens. 300 grams, and the bees need to have 50% of that consumed over a seven day period. So all these nurse bees will consume the feed and then care for the queens, feed the queens, and inoculate the queens. So these 50 will be going in. There's one day in the bank here now so six more days and then we can introduce these queens. Hope I have enough candy there. I think so, just, it just went runny. Just enough bees to cover the queens, to care for the queens and to consume the feed, but not so many bees that they eat this feed so quickly. So hopefully I don't have too many bees in here. I guess I will find out. There might be a lot of bees. But I can't let those queens, I have to protect those queens. So that's the amount of bees I'm going to use. Let's go with it. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Ian, you know what you're doing? I'm pretending I know what I'm doing. Well, let's <laughs> see how one is shocking. <laughs> Ian just doesn't like opening the side door, eh? <laughs> I just find it simpler this way. She'd be taking a video of me without my gloves on. Well, what do you mean? You always wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> just like I weld with gloves on. All right, all right. <laughs> wearing gloves, but no veil. Look at that guy. No, I don't have gloves on yet. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> Day number three of inoculation. This comes in water 
and I'm looking at the candy thinking you're consuming it pretty fast so I probably have too many bees on here but I need to protect the queens priority I made a video on making this candy and I deleted it but basically just 300 grams of fondant icing sugar and I used honey make it into a nice stiff ball and then we need the vaccine into it and I thought it was stiff enough but I set it down in little balls on that side and this side and you can see it spread out but the bees are consuming it quite nicely so I think I have another four days of inoculation so I'm going to put just a little cup full of sh sugar just a little cup full of sugar mm. syrup to slow them down a little bit Probably back like 30 seconds sooner, but I saw a frog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we get something just to float in there? Mm. So this will help slow them down the candy because they want half of the candy consumed, at least half the candy. So I might be right on track to have the whole candy consumed after seven days. I'm not exactly sure. But the idea is to consume the candy and transfer it to the queens. So I don't want to finish the candy before the end of the treatment period. So I'm just going to slow them down just a little bit, not much, and see how this goes. That is it for the split. Oh, I am so tired. I finished off that last yard in the rain. I'm being chased away from the yard gonna go help Carrie place some cells. So we have quite a storm coming at us right now. We're not gonna be able to get these, these splits off the truck because of the lightning. I don't want to unfold that lightning rod. Oh I'm so tired. I don't even know how many splits we pulled off. We're just going as hard as we can. didn't see anything in the trees yet but at the end of the last five yards there's colonies start to prepare and I'm just getting off the timing a little bit at the end I brewed up in the top box starting to hatch out swarm cells just starting to you know some of them actually coming across them that actually emerged so maybe they didn't swarm I don't know the bee population was still in there it's out of my hands now doing all I can We need some mating weather. It is windy and wet and rainy. I just hope things just turn to help us with the mate. So that's out of my hands too. Just cross our fingers, see what comes. That's all we can do. So that is it. We have three more days of sales to place come back for a queen check, maybe a second round of cells and some of the failures. So we're gonna start up the builders again tomorrow. We're gonna tear apart the builders we have now. They're done, they're empty actually. We'll just nuke them up and we'll restart four builders and get some new cells cranking out. Uh, prepare for some failure here, just depending on what my luck is here for mating success. And keep on top of the feed because we're missing this flow. The colonies are light. They're not starving. They still have food, but they're, they have no reserve in there. So we're going to keep the pails full for the most part in the next little while anyways. And try to get around and do a, a second round for equalizer. We went through pretty quick. Some we pulled down too much, I think. Some we didn't pull down enough. So we'll be sorting through that top box, shifting frames, and this flow is going to be hot in our tails. Finishing off the day. It's a thunderstorm chasing us. It's getting the last of the cells in.
soaking wet. Boy, this year has turned into be a wet year. Caught me by surprise. As long as we keep getting our work done. Upside down for me. Cells left. Uh, this handful, and then I've got another half handful left. Okay. These are big splits. Some dripping boxes. There, I'm going to turn this phone off so we can make some time. Wait to have a shower tonight.